We do the best we can on a given day because it's really about us, not the horse. And if the horse feel is not quite in tune with us fully, then you can actually say, it's okay. We don't have to do it. And we go away. Because you're really working on both horse and you coming together. And then we can go over to this little character over here, this anti-social little horse here. <laughs> he really does not like people much. Really? Uh, Who is this again? This is Brandy. Oh, Brandy. She just really doesn't like people. She, <laughs> but she likes me ordinarily. She does. Like everybody. I'm just being. Oh, facetious. I see. You're being facetious, yeah. I think. Yeah. Because yeah. I remember her being friendly. So friendly. Yeah. Of people. Right. Hi, Brent. Who's this man? This is That's Nate. This oh, is this is Nate, Nate, my buddy. This is yes. Your buddy. He turned 20 years old on May 26th. Oh, goodness. Being a little boy. Happy birthday, buddy. Birthday boy. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody likes you, Nate. And the more that the summer's coming on and the winter coach is on, the more you see it. And Shasta, too. And this horse has arrhythmia, which we find out is actually, checking on this one, actually very common. Very, very common. And you do exactly like you said, because I didn't know how to measure the heart, because it goes lub dub like we do. And then a pause, the third beat and then starts over the process after a very, another really long pause. Huh. So we were only getting 12 to 16 beats a minute on this horse. And, you know, average is a little bit higher. You panic if they get over 52. That's signs of colic and things. But uh, when I talk to the vet, he says, yeah, that is fine. And you still measure it that way. And if it's only 16 beats a minute, that's fine. You want them in that, in that range. What's dark and bark skin? Dark, bark, bark skin. Dark, 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 dark,
flexible are you? You're like a pretty flexible guy. Yeah. Are you able to kneel? Oh yeah. Okay. Well, in the case way for her to come in and do that, okay? Hello, Shasta. Hello, working, working, and they come out and they do hours of stuff for the horse. Uh, well, you need to build the horse up just like any athlete to that. I see. And you get a give each time where it's a pleasant experience. No, 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 no. Come on. Um, pleasant experience for them. And end it all. Always begin and end on a good note. Okay. And a horse that haven't worked too much before, you don't want to overwork. Right. So we're just going to do a little bit here uh, with her. Kind of what we just did, just kind of move around a little bit, put the halter on, walk a little bit, and we're going to be done. Because we did work with her quite a bit this morning. Oh, okay. And I don't want to overtax her, but the same thing, I did want to see how she would react to somebody besides me. <laughs> and well, she's, she's really doing well. Yeah. Yeah. Off, she hasn't signaled to us. She well, gone. she's comfortable with it. They don't that. always do that. Right. <laughs> they don't always do that. just freeze up and stop moving. And that's, you and know, they don't want to get going on a good note and end and not end on a free. So they, they tend to like to do things more or less by themselves, I guess, huh? Well, and it depends on the horse. You know, horses have a personality like we do. There's yeah. Some that are more engaged and eager and want to move and want to work. And, and once they get that blood boat moving, though, I've noticed that most horses really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Once they get that moving, kind of like us, we get the oxygen in and get moving. It's just those first few steps sometimes where we're, like they add on the TV, you know, body in motion stays in motion, body in rest stays in rest. Yes. <laughs> and sometimes it rests, I don't want to move. But once you get going, it, it's kind of, kind of nice unless yeah. you have a lot of body pain. And extremely intelligent. Yes. Yeah. And we'll just give them a little distance. I mean, you can zoom in if you want. So now we see if, if Shasta will follow on her own.
She came right over, huh? What? She came right over, huh? Yeah, Leah made her back up in a very gentle way. And again, with Shasta, less is more. You don't have to yank her. Right. The more subtle the signal is, and you give her time to think, and she, she backs up very willingly, which is wonderful. Great. That's, with, that's, that's with the where horse. healing happens. It's like the horse invites us to be really centered, really present. And then, I mean, the, main, the healing happens on many levels, but when we're fully present in the moment, that's already really relaxing and inspiring. And then just the joy of being with the horse, and probably more than that, it's really the connection between the horse and the human. I'm convinced releases oxytocin, the feel good hormone that our brains produce. In our daily stressed out lives, we don't produce enough oxytocin. One more step, like have her take a couple more steps and then I think so. Very nice. Yay. Give her a big hug, big praise. Wonderful. Look out wherever you want and see if she'll follow you. You may or may not, but I think you guys are still very connected, so look at that. Hello, Shasta. I mean, that's, you know, she's a, Hello, she's Shasta. a prey animal. Her Hello. instinct would be to run away from a predator like us, but she's so connected to the both of you that she's choosing to come over. That's great. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> you know, the obligatory stop to see if any food magically appears. <laughs> right, right. Or maybe there's a leftover morsel that she forgot. Oh, yeah. But it, that was a beautiful session today. I think it's a great time to call it a day. Terrific. Because it's more important to end on a good note than to, again, the human idea is to squeeze as much out of every hour, but I think being in the moment and ending on a good note is much, much more important. And this is Dr. Florian Burkmeyer, and this is our equestrian expert, Win. Yeah, we don't talk. We'll we all you. are, see, look. Yeah. That's this the is proof. our co-therapist. That's, that's the result of whatever. And and she's still so connected. Oh. She comes over. Thank she, you, we Shasta. Over here, she comes over. Thank you, Shasta. It's all just verbiage. The proof is in the, yeah. in the results. Wonderful. That's great. Well, proof thank you, guys, because sessions like this, I mean, horse sessions always make me feel good, but it's just, I'm, I'm like, my heart's really smiling because it's just so beautiful to see this. Delicate dance that you did with such hospital today. Thank you. If I had a boat, I'd go out on the ocean. If I had a pony, I'd ride him on my boat. We would all together go out on the ocean. Me upon my pony on my boat. Now the mystery masked man was smart Got himself a Tonto Cause Tonto did the dirty work for free but Tonto he was smarter One day he said Kimo Sabe Kiss my ass I bought a boat I'm going out to sea And if I had a boat I'd go out on the ocean and if I had a pony Ride them on my boat And we would all together Go out on the ocean Me upon my pony on my boat